Hey, Tower Runners, how's everybody doing? Oh, man, something doesn't look right. Hey. <gasps> Why, Beaver? Uh, the guys oh, no. hanging around I'm trapped in 1960s TV. Really this is why you never mention Area 51 as 4 in a video. Thanks, Scott. What do you do? What do you do? I don't have red slippers. I'm a guy. I can't do that. I do have my red towel running climbing shoes. Oh, man, I hope this works. All right. Ooh, man. Crisis averted. So we're starting a new series today called Tools and Equipment. And these are items that will help you with your tower running training for your next race. When, when I first started tower running in 2011, I had a real problem with breathing. And I would have near panic attacks uh, as I progressed up the stairwell. And I, I really thought I was going to have to quit the sport. And, and it, was, it was a huge bummer because I really enjoyed the people that I met. So one of the two things that I did, I came across in 2012, and I got it right before the scale of the Strat, so I've had it a long time, and it's a product called Expandalung. Now what Expandalung does, because uh, if you didn't know, you start losing lung capacity in your 20s on. So what Expandalung does is it's a, diet, it's a product, and here we'll get a little better view of it here so I can show you. So this product has a silicon mouthpiece, and then it's got this little adjuster nozzle that you can adjust the airflow in and out. Now I have some blue painter's tape, you probably can't see that real well, with some markings so I know where it's adjusted, but uh, see if we can get that to focus. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, so when you think of your lungs, I, you know, I always thought of my lung as kind of being these two airbags that were just kind of hollow, but really your lungs are more like a sponge. And when we, uh, as we were born, we did diaphragmic breathing, where you're breathing through your diaphragm, through your belly. If you've ever watched a baby breathe, they breathe through their diaphragm. Uh, it, it, that's the natural way to breathe. As we get older and kind of get more stressed and more tight, we start chest breathing. And uh, most people in the stairwell, they are chest breathers. Anyway, so what I found was that we kind of get these dead spots in our lungs just because they're not used to full capacity. So what the product expand a lung does is that you put it in your mouth, you breathe in and you've got a restriction device that you can adjust. You breathe in as deep as you can and you'll get almost full and you kind of take a couple little more sips and then you hold for about three or four seconds and then you breathe out. Now the toughest part about breathing out is it's restricted breathing out too. So as you're breathing out, all you want to do is pull the thing out and take a breath. But it's a great way to build up your lung capacity. And, and it's, it's super because you can do it while you're watching TV. Now it's not a device you could use while you're training. If you fail with this in your mouth, uh, you could be in some trouble. And you really, this is not really a good device to use while you're uh, doing a training session. But think of it as uh, doing exercise for your lungs. So um, it's a great device, and I've had mine for since 2012. It's just as good as the day I got it. Uh, one of the ways, if you want to clean it, what, uh, what I do is I just put some mouthwash in a little spray bottle, and then you spray the, uh, the, the silicon mouthpiece and all. It may be on the inside. Let it sit for a couple minutes, rinse it out, and then let it dry, and it's good to go. But it's been a super device for me. Now, when I was thinking about doing this video, I thought, well, yeah, maybe this is more for older climbers or people just getting into the sport. Maybe somebody realizes they don't really have good lung capacity, but really anybody could use this device. It will help everyone. Now, I'll put the show note in the show notes below, I'll put the links to their site. It's called expandalung.com. You can get it on their site and you can get it through Amazon through them. It's about $30, includes shipping, and it's only $39 international shipping, too. So that's great. A super device. Go to their website, read the information on it, find out if it's right for you. And uh, that's it. It's a great device. I wholeheartedly endorse this advice and I don't have anything to do with them but I, I this is a really great device and it has really helped me in my tower running uh, one of the neat things I always found when I go to a race is I will use this a couple of times uh, while I'm warming up for the race getting ready for the race and it is amazing how tight your lungs feel early in the morning it really helps open up your lungs to get you ready for your race so that's it expand a lung check it out see if it's right for you now, in our next episode, we're going to be looking at the elevation training mask. 
and it says simulates high altitude training. Can it really do that? But is it a great training tool for you? Absolutely. So look forward to coming back and telling you about that. Thanks for being with me today at your next race. Have a great climb and super fast times, and we'll see you at the top. Uh-oh.